all the KP commercials. Oh no. Jump scare warning. Oh no, let's see what is the scare what the Oh my god More of it? What the hell? Am I saying that bullshit? Screamer commercials, I feel like as jump scare videos, are short advertisements designed to startle viewers with sudden intense visuals or sounds. They often begin drawing. All right, so he's definitely gonna talk about this one. I feel like this one's definitely gonna be the scariest ones. Image or loud noise. Yep, there we go. These commercials are crafted to provoke a strong emotional response, typically fear or. What in the world is this one? A memorable impression. While controversial for their startling nature, they have been used as a creative tactic to grab attention in a crowded media landscape. In today's video, I feel like they definitely do because like you're interesting and where's this about to end Loki like you're scared it is like video and we are how's this about to end hitting 250,000 subscribers which by the way that is an extremely huge number if you're not subscribed to morbid fuck you so thank you for all the support but I want you guys to watch the video till the end and subscribe if you guys like this video because I do make a lot of similar That's right hold up this channel don't forget to check subscribe, out subscribe, like button, just, just do, do all that. Video. Monkeys on their back, 1970. The National Clearing House of Drugs. I'm about to say, please, I was, I was about to say, don't tell me this is a racist one, but right, it's actually about a monkey. All right, I was about to say, like, imagine this is a scary one, but it's a, like a, a, like a scary racist one. Treatment and rehab. It operated under the National Institute of Drug Abuse, Drug part abuse. of the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. Initially known as the National Clearing House of Alcohol and Drug Information, the organization expanded its focus over time to include a broader range of substance abuse issues. One of their first PSAs was titled Monkeys on Their Back, which was released in the early so, 1970s. This which, rare anti-heroin PSA begins with a toy monkey toy monkey, tools, while a girl discusses the metaphor of heroin addiction being like having a monkey on your back. Unexpectedly, a blood-curling scream cuts through the scene. Accompanied with a startling image of a monkey creating a jump scare for the viewer. Oh, I'm not this jump scare words appear on the bottom of the screen, but due to its quality, it is pretty hard to read. But it says, Why do you think they call it dope? I am going to play you guys this screamer commercial, so jump scare warning. Alright, so I'm not uh, how does this Okay, yeah, that's definitely scary. Alright. Yeah, that is definitely scary. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Look, like, I was like, okay, wait, hold up. How is this? I was gonna say, wait, I, I, I don't understand it, but I'm guessing I, I see now because monkey dope. All right, I see what they did there. I see what they did there, but interesting concept. This is pretty cute. interesting concept, Loki. Loki, like, like this commercial. The monkey is pretty cute. Burger King Kids Club I want to say cute, but all right then. The Burger King Kids Club gang was a diverse group of cartoon children that appeared in children's advertisements for Burger King from 1990 until 1999. The Simpsons Burger King Kids Club commercial is a 1990 advertisement say. by Burger King. I said since it's about since like you know the they were supposed to compete against like the uh, uh, McDonald's mascots. I want to see how this one starts off with Bart Simpson exclaiming. Look out, nature dude, we're coming, as animals like owls, deer, and gophers react by looking at the camera and hiding. It then cuts to show the toys of the Simpson characters such as Homer, Marge, and Maggie. A narrator says, Burger King is taking Homer, Marge, and all of the Simpsons camping, including you-know-who. Right after the narrator says this, the ad abruptly cuts to a close-up of a Bart Simpson toy, accompanied by a loud scream. Following this commercial, the commercial shows a herd of African buffaloes running away, and then displays the entire collection of Burger King Simpsons toys, and then the narrator concludes with, Now you can get one Simpsons character camping scene in every kid's club meal at Burger King. This screamer isn't scary at all. I was gonna say, it, is, it, is, is it really scary? Like, do you assume that this screamer did air on kids' networks? 
So a lot of little children were watching TV when this commercial was airing on TV. Not gonna lie, it is kind of funny thinking of children being scared of this it, little ad. It, it so sounds funny. a little bit more scary, like more funny than scary, because it's like it cuts to a random Bart like close up, so now you can get one Simpsons character and Kathy count the snowball like i feel like it, it would definitely be like scary watching watching it at nighttime but outside of watching it at night promoting its ghost train attraction darren brown's ghost the ad is reminiscent of many counting searching flash screamers the commercial begins by asking viewers to count all of the bunnies in the upcoming scene the scene then shows a group of snow bunnies frolicking on a snowy railway while Christmas theme music plays. Oh no. In second mark, a great demonic monster suddenly appears, tearing through the scene, what the? And screaming, and then slapping the camera away to reveal Darren Brown and the park, wishing viewers a Merry Christmas. Due to his frightening content, what the fuck? Low, low key, I was thinking like it was about to jump to like a train running over like the bunnies and like the most like glorious type of thing. I was expecting like a damn monster. All right, I, I said it. Okay, I was think, I was thinking it was gonna be a train, but no, it was actually a monster. All right, and okay, all right. This commercial. All right, I was thinking TV and is now only available on their YouTube channel. Autoway Tires commercial. Snowy tracks. Uh, how old is this one? Commonly known as the Autoway Tire commercial is an advertisement from Autoway Tires, a Japanese company based in Fukuoka. It was initially uploaded to YouTube in 2013 by user Andre Andrea titled Scary Japanese Tire Commercial. The commercial begins with a health warning for viewers, which is already bad enough because how many commercials this? do you know that start off with a warning? After the health, warning, literally, zero, literally zero. Unless it's like a smoking commercial, then it won't. Ghostly figure appears in the distance and suddenly leaps towards the screen at the 16-second mark, accompanied by a very loud noise. The men react in terror, retreating from the ghost who holds a laptop displaying Japanese text that reads, "Have you put your winter tires on?" Along with the company's logo. After watching this commercial and knowing that this was made by a Japanese company, I believe that the ghost character is a reference to Kuchi Sakeona, aka the slit mouthed woman. The slit mouthed woman. Oh, oh, so Japanese lore. Alright, so Japanese lore. Right. According to the legend, she approaches potential victims and asks if they think she is beautiful. If they answer no, she kills them on the spot with her long medical scissors or waits until nightfall to murder them in their sleep. In the if they say yes, she reveals that the corners of her mouth are slit from ear to ear and repeats her question. If they then respond with no, she kills them. And if they say yes hesitantly, she slashes their mouth to resemble her own disfigurement. One method to survive the encounter with Kuchi Sakeona is to describe her appearance as average. This legend dates back to the Japanese Edo period and saw. Um, I'm, I'm guessing if you if you I'm guessing if you call her average, she you know you're not you're not saying she's not pretty, but you're also not saying. Answer to why do they make this screamer commercial? But, but I found nothing. And by the looks of it, this is their only jump scare commercial. They do in fact make normal tired commercials, with the exception of this weird one I found on their YouTube channel. <laughs> this one looks like a the uh, YDP animated. The, the Cowardly Dog commercial was a screamer advertised created by Cartoon Network. Oh no, we getting a Courage the Cowardly Dog one. Oh no, I say oh no because it's like we are we all watch Courage the Cowardly Dog like before, and we all know it's a scary ass show. So I would not be shocked, low key. I would not be shocked. I'm gonna hit let more of a top, but I'm, I would not be shocked if there's. Like, you know, it didn't come out when I was born or when, you know, you know, I was watching cartoons, but definitely, I feel like Courage definitely has a bunch of, like, screamer, like, type of commercials, like, low-key. ...network to promote new episodes of the show. The commercial features a new say, what is this? at the Bag Farmhouse. For the majority of the commercial, nothing significant occurs. However, around 17 seconds in, a close-up of a giant spider from the first episode suddenly appears, accompanied by a loud edited noise. Following this, God the damn! Bag farmhouse, and an announcer says, Ahora sabes como se siente, which translates, Now you know how it feels. This ad was controversial due to the ability to frighten younger viewers. I was saying, was this supposed to be... It isn't really that scary, but we're talking about children. I was just, this supposed to be for, like, Cartoon Network, like, what, Latino-American or whatever? Whatever. Only aired in Mexico for Cartoon Mexico, alright, alright. 
If cigarettes look yeah. as dangerous as they are, the real cost screamers. Why is there so many spider ones? A smoking ad created by the real cost released on July 15th, 2015. Oh. The ad begins with a dark setting showing an animated cigarette Like, I understand, face. like, you know, bugs, you know, jump scare, but, like, large monstrous is... spider-like creature burst out of the cigarette box, roaring and repeatedly... Yeah, damn. ...text then appears saying, if cigarettes looked as dangerous as they are, you'd run like hell. Meanwhile, the monster continues to roar and bash the camera in the background. This commercial was featured during the intermission of the Toonami event, The Intruder 2, which was sponsored by The Real Cost. Ah, uh, okay, I see Harsh what. Holler. The Harsh I see. Holler is an American live-action television series that aired on Adult Swim from 2011 to 2014. The show is a satirical horror comedy created by Vermin Chapman and John Lee. The Heart She Holler has gained a cult following for its dark humor, surreal imagery, and twisted storylines. In August of 2013, oh, I was like, do you see the clips he's showing? God, God damn, some of them getting axed, some of them getting shot by darts. Holy sh oh, G G Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, okay, I gotta watch the show after. I gotta watch the show after because, like, this go go goddamn, got like, whole goddamn. A really creepy commercial. And before I show you guys the commercial, just picture yourself as a little kid watching Cartoon Network, and right when it transitions to Adult Swim, you just see this commercial pop up. <laughs> look, look, uh, this one's definitely one of the less scary ones. Look, I, I, that's what, in my opinion, because the, just the, Yeah, that's pretty creepy if you ask me. And in my opinion, I feel like this is way scarier than the Dawn is your enemy Adult Swim bumper. The woman on I, I, I kind of disagree with that, Loki. Oh no, this one kind of this one felt less scary, Loki, in my opinion. Like this one felt less scary for the show. Something more disturbing than the commercial is the fact that Adult Swim would hide that jump scare within their own promos. So you could be watching a random commercial on Adult Swim and a jump scare would still happen. So you couldn't run away from Mima. I'll show you guys what I mean because somebody did catch this on camera. So during- oh! Cle the Cleveland show, so... What's this up? Just imagine watching Cleveland. Jimmy, who was trying to pull an all-nighter and watching Adult Swim, then gets jump scared by Mima. Not gonna lie. <laughs> imagine trying to watch something like on a Cleveland show, American Dad, or like Family Guy. They have like some type of. I just find it hilarious. They're trying to do like a funny scene, and then it just cuts to that woman, Loki. I would start dying laughing, Loki. <laughs> like imagine. Commercial is actually inspired by one of the Kefi ads back in the day. And for those who don't know what Kefi is, this photo says it all. Oh. The ad began with a the jump scare one. Alright, so what is this? How is this one a jump scare? In the background, as they were about to kiss, a tiki zombie suddenly appears. Wait, that was. <laughs> The screen then displays a message warning that liberal oh. Democrats in Congress about... plan to raise taxes by $2.4 trillion, including a $2,700 a year for married couples, suggesting that this is scarier than the jump scare itself. Which is now that's... true because taxes are expensive. I mean, yeah, taxes nowadays, yeah. like... This is an old commercial, so I mean, tax a woman though. 2007 ad created by the van. Is this a Halloween? Okay, it's not Halloween. I'm at this attraction. The video begins with a girl riding a bicycle through the fairground on a sunny day. It seems like an ordinary scene with quiet music in the background. It's a Halloween one? Kefi commercial. Or is this another jump scare? Into the video, a hooded person wearing a mask suddenly appears yeah. with a loud scream. The screen then turns black. Damn! Reading, dare yourself. Dare you. Double dare your friends appears. Following this, the actual promotion. Oh, Fright Night. All right. Says, Scare your friends. All right. So this was a Halloween. I'm thinking, is this a Halloween type of commercial? But all right. Gunshot. Loki. If screamer commercials are during Halloween, then expect to be like scared because like it's Halloween. You're supposed to be, you know, getting scared. So individuals affected by cancer in the Philippines. The ad begins with a man sitting in a dining room chair. 
reading a newspaper. He holds a cigarette in one hand, takes out a lighter, places a cigarette in his mouth, and starts smoking. Suddenly, the man gets oh, no. scoped and blood splatters on the walls, accompanied by a loud gunshot. Paxton appears on screen saying, if you smoke, you're killing yourself. The ad ends with another message. 55 Filipinos what? every day from tobacco related illnesses. Stop. All right, so Morbid's not going to show it. I'm, I'm going to have to. Too extreme. Yeah, I'm going to have to research after because. What in the fuck was that? What in the world? What in the world? Tanning bed is a PSA created by the Danish Cancer Association in 2007 to raise awareness about the dangers of tanning beds and their link to an increased chance of skin cancer. The video features a young woman highlighting the risk of tanning beds. She enters a tanning room and slowly undresses until she is only in a bikini. After applying tanning lotion to her body, Jesus she Christ! The edge of the oh, bed to apply lotion. On Don't her tell me this is another gr uh, gory one. The cover of the bed slams down onto her, crushing her to death with a loud noise. Oh! Bed with sparks flying from the bed. The God damn! Yo, ho God. Getting two gory commercials back to back. Damn, Morbid. Okay. Okay, but uh, seriously, wait, 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 uh, let's get to you. Because what was the point of this? Loki actually, hold on. What was the point of this one? Now, this PSA is pretty gruesome and another creative jump scare. But if you go frame by frame, it's like the most shittiest CGI you'll ever see. But since it is fast paced, you don't notice it the first time when you watch the actual PSA. Okay, I gotta Resident Evil 4. I gotta rewatch some of these commercials after I upload this video. I, I got to because some of these like actually interest me. TV commercial first aired in 2005 and includes a screamer. The ad begins with a scene of a naked woman breastfeeding her baby in a bedroom, accompanied by a narrator saying, "Remember where you are. Feel the most secure." Damn, the way this is blurry. <laughs> the way it's will never exist again following a scene of the baby. The woman's face suddenly fades to black, revealing a zombie's face with a high-pitched scream. Uh, the commercial then transitions to a montage of gameplay footage, followed by the appearance of the Capcom logo. Capcom. After this, the zombie face pops up once more, and this has to be one of the weirdest Screamer commercials. Okay, yeah, I can agree with this one. Definitely the weirdest, but I- But a weird one. It does its purpose. It, it advertises the game. So Loki is the most iconic screamer of all time. In April, I can definitely agree with this one. This one's definitely one of my favorites. When someone say screamer commercials, like this is like the first one I always think about. Their first video titled "Ghost Car." This video featured an effective jump scare that was unique on YouTube at the time, making it a pioneering piece of content. People would use this video to prank their friends, setting it up by saying. Yo, there's a ghost driving the car. Make sure to pay close attention to it, which sets them up to get jump scared. I, like many others, fell victim to this video. And it quickly Ooh, became my first an time. internet sensation. I think my first well, time actually seeing this, this video was from Vine, Loki. Like, I, like, this video was, I don't know what was the caption. It was just randomly used on Vine, and then I just saw it. I was like, what the hell? A message saying, now go change your shorts and go back to work. But gave no clue <laughs> yeah, because you just you just shat at yourself, nigga. No. However, point to the viewers in the right direction, simply stating, goes in a car commercial. Although Americans had no idea where this commercial came from, German viewers of the ghost car video recognized this as a clip from the Kfi canned coffee commercial that aired on German television in 2004, a year before the YouTube upload. Kfi, a German caffeinated beverage company, was promoting their Kfi turbo drink. This claim was later confirmed when archived versions of oh complete with kfi branding revealing that mr smithereens oh all right not only did kfi produce the ghost car jump scare commercial but they also created several others with jump scares for their wide awake campaign it's surprising these commercials even made it to television i'm going to show you guys a jump scare compilation of all of the kfi commercials oh no jump scare warning oh no let's see what is the scare what the oh my god What the hell? God damn! How many? They really must like jump scares, cause whoa, whoa, whoa. Mookie. 
These commercials. Why? Why was there, there so years. many? I wonder why. Huh. Who didn't appreciate being startled after? Did they just years, like jump the jump cuts? Were pulled, but like, uh, uh, Germans, what are you thinking? Like version of their coffee drink and produced lighter versions of these commercials without jump scares, which are pretty funny. Now I do want to play you one of them, and just trust me, there is no jump scare. This man, Marvin, about to cap his ass off. Morbid about to cap his ass off, Loki, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, you know what? Morbid, Morbid, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. I thought you were capping, Loki. I thought you were. I Loki thought you was capping, but I'll take that back. I'll take that back. Sorry. The zombie actor was revealed to be American actor Brad Johnson with his brother oh. Johnson playing the demon character in other commercials. Adam revealed this information on his Twitter account in 2016, posting several photos. Later, Screamer Wiki, an encyclopedia cataloging scare and video lore, obtained behind the scene photos from the original oh, right. showing Adam and Brad in costume. So now you know that the infamous ghost car video was actually a marketing campaign by Kefi to promote their caffeinated coffee mm. beverage. Hands down, this video started the online jump scare trend, establishing a legacy that still holds strong 18 years later because on Instagram recently, I've been seeing some millennial parents showing the ghost car jump scare video to their children and this trend is gonna go on forever. Yeah. Also, when I have kids, it's just a canon event. I may, I may have, I may have to show my sisters this, Loki. Like, just show them the actual ad, and then because Loki, they would probably be scared, scared from it too. Loki. Supernatural horror film directed by David Gordon Green. This movie is the sixth entry in the Exorcist franchise and acts as a direct sequel to the original 1973 horror classic, The Exorcist. I say, how, how, how is this one? Blumhouse Productions, a film and television production company. Oh, it's from Blood. Okay. Campaign for the the movie titled buckle up you're in for we all ride. we all know they did from finance of freddy's so like parody the infamous kfi ghost car commercial the video shows off a white car so say, how's the, how, how did it jump scare here company by calming music as a car disappears behind some trees the scene is abruptly interrupted right. by a flashing <laughs> image of catherine the possessed character along with a loud scream it's very awesome how Blumhouse parodied the infamous hey, car screaming. Hey, massive video. production pro um, studio. Ghost car video has you gotta a legacy, and I just love how they parodied it. It's just amazing, and it just shows you how iconic the KP commercial is. Loki, when I say sometimes, sometimes when a video is very like very iconic, you gotta respect it when like a movie studio uh, like at least tries to do something similar to it, or at least parody it, or at least mention it on, on something because it's like, hey, look at that, look how like how much impact that video had. And that is the end for today's video. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. And I do want to say that we are so close on hitting 250,000 subscribers. And yes, sir. And I'll release this video, but I do have a cool special coming out very, very soon, which is about Disneyland. So um, expect that video to be long. Right now, it's currently my longest script that I've ever written because it's over 12 pages. Yeah, I'm betting it's going to be something like an hour or something. 20 pages long, so expect a lot of your favorite YouTubers to cameo on that video. But enough blabbering. Thank you for all the support. Consider following me on my other social medias, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys. Later, Morbid. Says so, that was the video. Hope you guys did the video. Loki, yo, dub more of a video. Dub more of a video, like always. Like, lo low key. Like, some of these, I was just expecting, like, jump scares, but no. Some of these were actually, you know what, you know, just like gruesome, like, commercials. Nothing, like, you know, not like a jump scare one or anything like that. I'm really questioning the key fee one because the amount of jump scares in this one, like, hold up, hold up. I, got, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I, I, I went back and muted it because the amount of, like, Cause goddamn, like goddamn, like like goddamn, what is the what the hell? Like some of these actually look scary because uh, you know the eyes. Some some of these don't have eyes. Some of them do. So it's like you know, then like you know, you look at it this. So I'm just like, uh huh. Like the commercials are doing their job. Like you know, it's interesting. Like you know, the people watching it, and he's like, you know, it's capturing like you know their attention. But I'm just like. 
uh, I feel like y'all, y'all, y'all kind of doing it a little bit too much. Low key, like, uh, maybe that's just my opinion, but like, you know, they kind of could have just cool it down, in my opinion. So, as that was the video, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and get notified when I upload a new video. Comment what do you guys want to react to next. Comment what is your favorite um you know screamer commercial like is it something from kifi or is it like something else that you know morby didn't mention in this video because i feel like there's definitely more screamer commercials that he probably just didn't mention in this video so yeah um you know if you didn't mention it comment it so yeah that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Hops.